Did you know that the worst snowfall ever in the UK happened in the southwest of the country and Wales on the 29th and the 30th of December 1962, where a blizzard blew in, and the snow was that bad and the wind was that severe that it caused snow drifts of 20 foot high, that's equivalent to 6.1 metres, leaving a lot of villagers stranded and power lines was, were knocked down as well. Now that it's the middle of March, hopefully that's going to all stop and we're going to get some decent weather. Anyway, hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I thought I'd do a quick update on the fleet. If you've watched any of the previous videos, you'll no doubt know that last October we got the charger running again and we used it last October for a wedding after having some aggro with the uh, transmission cooling pipes leaking due to the fact that I'd, I'd caused a bit of a mess by uh, cross-threading one of the pipes when I was putting the, the thing back together when I put the new cooling system in. It's still up and running, it's just sitting on the drive there ready to go. We're going to be doing a video on uh, the first start of the year on that one coming up fairly soon. But it's all up and running, needs a service, so it needs a set of plugs, needs the oil change and all the filters, etc. And uh, it needs a pair of a set of brake shoes on the back of the car. And I thought I'd throw a couple of new drums on as well, because I think the ones that are on there are all the original ones. So I also need to do some work to the brake pipe situation at the front, as it was originally on drum brakes. Uh, all around so I did a disc conversion years ago before I had the YouTube channel I did a brake disc conversion on the front and because I was putting discs on the front of a drum based car uh, I added a proportional valve I've since found out that putting the proportional valve in I don't really need that to be in the car because it's also got a distribution valve so part of the uh, the project for this year is to get that proportional valve off and just reroute the pipes back into the master cylinder in the hope that we'll be able to get perfect braking rather than the uh, the adequate braking that we have at the moment. So that's the update on the charger. The next one, my uh, my 75 Ford Ranchero, that one just needs a really good service. I have no history with it from uh, when I bought it and had it imported into the UK. It came in from the Netherlands, but other than that, I don't know anything about it. So it needs a full service, so I'll be doing everything on that, points, leads, fluids, filters, etc. Everything will be getting done on that one. The last time I used that, which I think was around about last September-ish or thereabouts, it was playing up a little bit on the gearbox. It got a little bit warm, start to overheat a little bit, so I think it needs a fluid change or at least a fluid top-up, but we'll get into that one as well. Now, in a few of the videos that have been filmed at home, you may have noticed in the background at the side of the driveway, there's a Toyota Hilux Surf that's looking a bit sorry for itself. That's been sitting there for a number of years now. Uh, it did fail its MOT, and I've just been waiting for to organise the parts and see what I'm doing with it. And there's a couple of things I want to do with that one as well. But hopefully this year, fingers crossed, I'm going to try and do a first start on that one. I've just been sitting for a while, get that up and running again. And we'll see if we can get all the repairs done on that one that needs doing. And we'll get it back on the road and maybe even do try some uh, green leaning and some 4x4 stuff with it. Because at the end of the day, that's what it was built for. So uh, hopefully that's going to be coming out to play at some point over the course of this year as well. Then there's the Mustang, the one that we're currently sitting in today. This is a 1996 3.8 V6. As you know, or you may know if you've been watching the channel for a while, this one's not actually mine, it doesn't actually belong to me. It belongs to one of my friends. Now she's got two cars. Where she lives, she can't keep two cars, so she interchanges them now and then. Sometimes I'm driving this, sometimes I'm driving another car. We do have a bit of a fuel leak from the center seam of the fuel tank. Uh, it's obviously, it's getting old now, and it's got a bit corroded around the seam, so it's starting to leak there. We have managed to source a replacement fuel tank for it, so uh, we're going down to pick that one up in a few days. But as soon as the weather changes, we'll be able to get the back end of this in the air, get the fuel tank out, get the new fuel tank in, and that'll put this thing back on the road as good as ever. But apart from that, the car's running fine. Uh, that's all there is to update on the Mustang other than enjoying it. And then, of course, the last thing I'm working on at the moment is the roof on the garage. We're getting into that one. It's, uh, it is getting there. The back half of the garage is nearly done, and the back half of the roof is nearly done now. I've just got to fill some little gaps in and uh, put the, the panels on I'm going with. I've decided to go with steel corrugated panels. I had some spare ones left over from building the shed that sits behind the garage. So I'm going to use those, but I'm going to try and fasten them down in such a way that when we do have high winds again, they're not going to rip them off this or the wind's not going to rip them off this time and it's going to be a, a tighter fit and then once the roof's on obviously once the back half of the roof's on got the front half of the roof to do and once the entire roof's on we can start doing some work on the inside of the garage and making it a bit more of a comfortable place to be in make it look a bit better and i'm still thinking of knocking the window out at the back of the garage wall so i can join the garage to the shed and have one long workshop i think it'll be about 40 foot 41 foot long something like that so i should be able to get two cars in there at any given time 
And specifically at the minute, I am looking for a couple of cars. There's two more cars I want to add to the fleet. So I'm currently looking for those. I'm hoping I'm going to find them and uh, they're going to be uh, fairly affordable. Uh, more news on that as and when I find them, if I find them. Hopefully at some point this year though, I will get those. I'm starting to build up quite a collection of spare parts as well for a future project. I do have a V8 engine. Uh, I've also just acquired, although I haven't received it yet, but I've just acquired a C6 gearbox. I have a prop shaft, I have a nine inch back axle, and I have a bottle of nitrous. So obviously the only thing missing from all that collection is a supercharger. I'm on the lookout for a supercharger as well for a sneaky project I have in mind. Uh, as long as I can find the right vehicle to slide all those bits into. And we're just heading back home now, and it looks like we're going to get held up by a train. It's always good to get the cars out and take them for a run though. Even if you do sometimes get stuck in traffic jams waiting for trains to pass. Two trains, one in the direction. Now I've been looking through the analytics guys and uh, there's a good few of you watching and you seem to be watching from all over the world. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Leave a comment below and let us know what part of the world you live in. I'd love to know how far across the world uh, people are watching my videos. And here we are, back home again. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that little update on what's happening on the channel, what's happening with the fleet of cars that I've got. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed hearing about what's going on with the cars, what I'll do is I'll leave a link up here for something else on the channel and uh, I'd recommend you watching that one next. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.